Hello everyone, so it is Sunday night and uh, lighting is terrible, I'll, I'll eventually get this right or better. Um, so I'm just churning these things out. <clears throat> uh, the one video I posted earlier uh, was uh, a little, I don't know, perhaps controversial, um, kind of heavy um, religion and I want to mix it up a little bit. Um, I, I Just to let you know, Tabor talk everyone, <clears throat> what I want to do um, I'm actually thinking about this and preparing uh, for something that's going to be called um, What Makes This Joke Great? All right, so um, I actually got the idea from anyone who doesn't know who, um, what's his name, is it? Rick Be Beato. Rick Beato he is here on YouTube. And he's amazing. He's a sound engineer. He's a musician, also a guitar player, musical historian. He's just the best. And he has this thing called "What Makes uh, a Song Great." That light is really uh, in the background. Let me see if I can turn around a little bit here. I can see that here. I don't. But but anyway, he has a thing. He has a thing called "What Makes a Song Great," and it gets through the whole song. I got. I kind of got the idea. Of, oh, um, and here's another thing. Listening to my guy uh, on Joe Rogan, I, he, he had uh, was it Jim Gaffigan, uh, stand-up comic, and they were talking about jokes and comedy, and they said, Do you know what? It's interesting how there are really no good books on comedy, and the thing is, it's so hard to describe. Um, you can't like, what is it? What is comedy? Is it? Uh, is it something that's taboo or something exaggerated? There are a lot of different theories of what comedy is. And the, I think Gaffigan said, but the ones you try, like comedians do all, all the time. They have a bit, they have routine, they have a bunch of, a series of jokes, and they know which jokes works, work and which jokes work and, and which jokes don't work. And then they break it down and they analyze it. But then when you analyze it, Gaffigan says you lose the magic, the comedy. So I'm going to see if I could make, I, I, I'm going to, I, I believe that perhaps looking at it closely and analyzing it could perhaps enhance the joke. I've, I've been thinking about this since last night. Uh, oh, there's a grasshopper here. We live in the country here. It's on top of my little iPad, a little big giant grasshopper. But um, uh, so I'm going to do that maybe later on tonight or tomorrow and uh and i'm gonna take a joke or a routine or some comic i'm a huge comedy fan stand up a lot a lot of different genres types of comedy but um i'm going to first play the joke and or the stand-up routine i'll play it and then i'll go through it and why this joke the joke works and why it's this and that so it's kind of a segue into this video recording another comedian hilarious guy Andy Dick. Now, this is not so funny. Have anyone, like a couple of days ago, Andy Dick was performing in New Orleans outside of the club. Some fucking guy just fucking cold. Just japs him. You know? I mean, and Andy Dick is this little guy. He's this little fragile guy. You know, Andy Dick. He's more frail than, than Woody Allen. And you got to see this, so I'm going to show you this, and uh, and then I'll comment a little bit more, and then here we go. Ready? Hold on. Oh, I had I thought I had it set up. Okay, here it is. Comedian Andy Dick knocked out cold outside of New Orleans club. Now watch this. There's no sound, but check this out. Can you see that? Watch it. Oh, fucking piece of shit. Can you imagine? I know they got him. They arrested him. He said something that Andy Dick grabbed his genitals. I don't see that. I don't, I got to do some more reading on this. This is just, and I think Andy Dick is okay. I know he was hospitalized. He was knocked out for a while. I mean, obviously, he could have killed him. You know, and he knocked him out and he hit his head. That's how you kill people. And take a look at Andy Dick. Andy Dick is this frail-looking guy. After this video, watch this again. 
they have the light on. I'll show you what Andy Dick looks like if you haven't seen him. Let's check this out. Can you see that? This lighting is terrible. Watch this. Now he's milling about. Oh my god. And then he tries to walk away, but they got the scumbag. All right. Let me pause this. But lighting's terrible. I look awful in this picture. Eh, who cares? Um, okay, I'm going to show you a picture of Andy Dick. Andy Dick used to be a regular on Howard Stern. He's hilarious. He used to work with Joe Rogan, too. I think on, on news radio. He's fucking hilarious, Andy Dick. He's a character. All right, so... Um, search. Okay. Now take a look at Andy Dick. All right, here's Andy Dick. Okay. He's a frail fellow, isn't he? Uh, another picture of Andy Dick. Okay. So some scumbag just went up to him, you saw it, and just pummeled him. What the hell's wrong with this world? Okay, everyone. I'll be back. Tabor talk.